I've probably had about 30 years actively in the healthcare system. Young in my career, I worked as a nursing orderly in a hospital in the interior. And I remember saying to myself one day after I came home from work, it was a very frustrating day, I'd like to come back here one day as the CEO of this healthcare organization. And so uh, little did I know that my career would take me into uh, those kinds of roles. So that's, that's been kind of fun to look back and see some of my earlier beginnings as a, as a disorderly orderly and uh, coming back later on as a CEO was kind of fun. Probably the most significant role I had that uh, gave me the greatest reward was at Fraser Health as the uh, uh, CEO. Because it was long enough to actually see significant things done in the community and in our healthcare system as a whole. Although the years behind us have been very challenging, the years ahead of us are equally or more challenging and we need strong vision, strong strategic skills and strong leaders. It's really important for leaders to live uh, balanced lives. Leadership is just too draining and if all you're focused on is the, the leadership side then you're getting out of whack on relationships in the home and the community. So I think it's really important to have those balanced with hobbies, uh, interests, uh, things that are creative, things that uh, bring you into a sense of community with other people. I have four grandchildren so life is full and rewarding. My encouragement to leaders and to uh, folks that I work with is to, is to find that area that gives you significance and pursue it passionately. Probably one of the most rewarding aspects of being a leader in healthcare uh, has been the opportunity to work with incredible teams of people. Clinical teams, administrative people, back office people, and then uh, harnessing our collective energies to get the task done. So, I have great uh, memories of very high-performing executive teams and support teams. I'm very grateful for that.